right so i'll be just uh powering on my virtual box um ubuntu okay so it says that uh, uh yeah so i'm just powering on my virtual box you should do the same if you have a windows machine um just install virtual box just go to uh, google and type how to install ubuntu in virtual box and uh, it's it's pretty straightforward you'll have a lot of videos so uh, on on that so that should be fairly straightforward so now i'm in ubuntu uh type in my password and uh well yeah this sometimes happens system crashing and stuff um and it's virtual box i mean some 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 issue with my uh computer some of the graphics sometimes gets blurred right so uh okay so I, i'll just load up uh enderbomb uh github page uh for reference here right so uh um, what is that enderbomb enderbomb so just uh yeah so i'll go here first link and uh, so and by the way you can actually sign up and uh, log in and the it's the same um enderbomb local setup you can actually uh experiment with it uh so that's really good one good part of it and then uh so i'm going to the uh, github page so if you go here so yeah so this is starting from scratch so here we are so there are some uh things uh yeah it's something happened to my system in virtual box not to care about that so uh, uh, initially you should and uh, yeah so virtual environment so i'll just open up my terminal and uh, brand new terminal nothing else and i'm um, just typing in virtual environment environment is it there i mean i don't know whether it's even installed it's uh no it's not installed so you see you know ubuntu is really good with uh, the uh, error messages it's really helpful most of the error messages are really co it's so complex that i don't know what, i mean whether the system crashed or something some world ended or something uh but yeah <laughs> uh joking aside so i'm just sudo app install virtual and installing it um so yes uh, it's almost an mb um more than an mb so it's connecting so uh yeah so it's installing depending on on your internet speed it will take some time um so uh, here we are okay so um yeah so uh i'm just parking my um uh, command prompt on right on left and maybe the uh yeah so the instruction on the right so that we can go side by side so uh yeah so sorry yeah so if we go to virtual environment um virtual env my side my side is just a generic uh name you could actually say so i'll just give my um uh, so it's a bomb right it's a bomb so i'm just going to give uh no don't give bomb maybe uh bomb manager or something like that. bomb manager manager something like that so i'll just set it up so it just sets up the all the environment so if you go to your home directory um yeah as you can see the bomb manager is there so your entire package the, the django bomb or the ender bomb would be installed inside this uh, folder so let's go back it's it's done thing and so if you go inside this you'll have pretty some some folders uh they have yeah so auto generated I'm not i don't know what's happening right now but uh yeah so i'm just following along um so yeah so let's go to this um and next is cd so you cd in so you go inside the directory bomb so we have bomb manager and then source slash okay bin slash activate activate right so i'm really slow typer 
bear with me please uh then inside that so it's it's cool now we have this uh thing you know getting uh so it's, it's highlighted i don't know what has happening uh, so yeah so it's actually uh setting up the virtual environment so it's if you have set up the virtual environment inside the virtual box right so in that you have to install django django is a framework that's from what i have read on online um pretty complicated but uh yeah it, it does the job for for websites generally like uh, to to develop websites it creates frameworks and uh i guess uh pretty simple to do that with django um so i'm installing pip so for uh, yeah so you have to install python for this uh, particular thing so you need to install python so if it's not installed please sudo apt get install python or something like that and then pip also you have to install this also so just go to online just see uh so we need to install pip before we uh actually install django so once you do that uh you can in, uh, you know execute otherwise it will throw an error i don't know the computer will say oh i don't know this command pip right or <laughs> i don't know python so it's really important because python will be used now so we, i go to cd now now i uh okay so now i have to i don't know what is happening you have to install django and set up your project right so that's really simple <laughs> thanks mike <laughs> uh django so django admin so i'm just pressing the tab so it just comes around you have start uh, project um yeah start project uh my site oh uh you can say again bomb manager or bomb i don't know i'm very bad at names mm, okay let's keep my site I mean, just default it so it's been created now on cd my site will be easier for me to just type around yeah, right so and then python uh manage so there's a full it's a it's a and and create super user create super user it's like you know having uh you you're an admin you're creating an admin right so now if you see it, it throws up this error so you see here uh, your project may not work until you apply migrations but you, you so i think i i just so this error happened with me and i kind of skipped ahead um so uh, let's uh let's install yeah django bomb so this is where it will go into the github repository and clone everything that's there here so um yeah so python no this is not working pip pip install django hyphen bomb so hopefully i spelled that correct yeah spelled it correctly so yeah so we are at the 0.78 version of it so i use a vi editor so i'll be using that to edit my files or or whatever files or you can actually go inside these so right now we are in bomb as so after these steps you know you you have you created a my site thing and inside my site another my site folder in that you have uh settings um uh, and urls so these are the two things that you are going to edit you can actually go in like that directly and edit it i prefer the vi method you know um so anyways um so i'll just uh go to the v um yeah right so so next um so i install django bomb and now i i go to the uh folder now I, I, so i just type ls okay i have to go inside another my site right um here i would edit uh the settings right settings so add bomb to the uh to your install app setting so setting you have to go into the settings.py so you have settings um dot py so if you go here kind of editing now the uh, thing you can do it with a text editor any text editor that you want so install apps so you you go into the section called install apps and you uh, go here and press and as and and include this uh bomb so it's actually a package which uh has been named which we are including 
into the Django framework and then okay so that, that's it uh, press escape colon WQ to save the file and yeah so that's that then we go into the urls.py so again vi urls.py so here we have to add this particular thing so it's actually this particular thing or whatever it's actually uh like oops i clicked on the link but nothing happened um so this particular link uh this uh, this admin so it's actually shows the uh, what is called th these are the pages actually it will go into those pages whenever uh, you so so the Django recognizes these two pages only it will make sense when I actually fire up the uh, the web so it's actually a website that we are creating a local website uh, hosted on your machine right so that local website would have an admin page and a bomb page right so that's what we are specifying using these two lines of the code and also don't forget to add this guy so this part of the code has to be added so it's uh, has to be in that yeah so it pasted that so uh, save that so we have done and uh, oh uh, we have to uh, Okay, so we have to again go into the uh, settings and go into template section. So you go into the templates. Yeah, there you are. And add this particular thing, uh, the bomb dot context. Uh, so I'm just following along. Nothing, nothing. I'm just following along. So we can insert and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'll just paste this particular thing. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I actually I forgot this comma. <laughs> See, uh, in in the bomb, yeah, this where I have to write, I have to include a comma. Yeah, uh, yeah, very good. Um, so that's that for the templates, and we need to add a bomb config thing at the end. So this is where the octopart integration comes into the picture, right? So after this uh so it's at the end you know the end so i go at the end and uh, paste this particular this is just oh sorry uh sorry uh paste used to windows i was doing control v anyways um so yeah so bomb config so after that just save exit and uh yeah, migrate. We now we run this command Python, Python manage. Oh, I am in a the lower level, so I have to move to the higher level, and then uh, do Python manage not create super user. You'll still get in that error. You have to migrate now. When you uh, do this you get all these things as okay the first time I did it was really I was re I, I expected a bunch of errors <laughs> but it is really fun to get all okay's green okay's and then you actually have to uh, go and do this Python manage create super user you have to create a user this is like the admin guy so you can actually if in a in a group environment you have the control of the parts you can actually add you can delete uh, for the parts for all users so that's a cool uh, setting so uh, yeah so i'll just create super user so now it'll say uh, leave blank to use the thagata yeah i'll just leave my email address i'll just add in my email address um and yeah I think oops that's not my mr. Nee. Um add in my email address and uh, and then it'll ask for a password so uh, I'll do a password it's asking again super user created successfully great so not much of a pain right 
and uh, finally you need to run python um, python manage py run server so this is what launches this uh, web app you know um, on onto the location this so I'll just control and click this link It'll show oh page not found but remember we had in the URLs as, as, as the, the the errors in this uh, particular uh, Django bomb uh, Django framework are also super useful you know you see we had created two pages admin and bomb so obviously there's no home page there's no other page like that so there's no so um, just type in admin slash forward slash admin it will take you to the login page 